CEO office we're gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. I actually wanna do it. Oh my god. Dreams do come true. <laughs> you look like a bit like Whitney Houston needs your hair out. Hi. Hello. So the lighting is changing. I need to change the setup. Anyways, as I was saying, so this video was going to be me. Uh, not live. Uh, but like just me, like open my results. Record me open my results, but then when I was done, I was like, I haven't even, like, I didn't even, at this stage, I hadn't even told my friends what I got. I'm not telling some of my friends what I got. Why in the name of God would I put a video up of me telling them what I got? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit sick. The results came out early. <clears throat> They're actually out now, but like, I can't open them until 10. Which is in three minutes. I didn't open them until 10. They were supposed to come out at 10. They came out at like half nine. People were looking at the results. I was on Snapchat and I was like, talking about the results. I was like, wasn't opening them until 10. Didn't open them until 10. I opened them by myself. I opened them by myself. No, I was so scared. I feel ill. This is horrible. It's in two minutes. Oh my God. Didn't open them with my mum dad. Opened them. Mum dad were downstairs. So I had to like walk downstairs and tell them. If you know me at all, you know I'm the most dramatic person alive. So I, you can only imagine. You can only imagine the whole day. What the whole scenario was like uh, going down to my man Daniel. Oh my god, my dad was cutting, doing something in the garden, and I was like <laughs> in my room. <laughs> like a new job, because they wanted me to open it with them, and I was like no. <laughs> no. Thought I was quite happy with my results. Um when I opened them. <laughs> well did I know in a week CEO offers were gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. So I was happy for the week. Went out and results and I got ready. I'm ready. Oh the window's open. But I need to put my earrings in, I need to get dress but my makeup's done these lashes oh are not even stuck the band on them is so thick though oh. i've never had lashes with such a thick band before can we ew oh, i'm not ready hey so i'm dressed this is the fit anyways and then it's just got like a little I'm excited. It's been its full 180 from today, but goodbye. You know, had a good night. Wasn't really thinking too much about CAO offers, and then they came out. So, like, I had a fair idea in my head due to my points, like, what course I was going to get on my CAO, and I was very happy with that choice. 613 points went up to 600. <laughs> and 13 points if you think i got that i can tell you for a fact i did not like wasn't in in around 613 like didn't get 613 so um had a mental breakdown and ran away to greece it took me like it took me so long to accept my offer i think it took me five days to accept my offer i accepted my offer when i was in greece <laughs> anyways so i don't know why i'm doing this video like i just feel like this is a video for everyone who, anyone, who didn't get their first choice. Like, I'm so happy about my course now. I'm delighted. I'm not stressed at all. Did I cry for a week? Yes. Did I feel like the world was over? Yes. Have my mum and dad asked me, am I okay? Every day for the last while. Yes. I'm going to Dublin. I think I'm so excited. I actually am. I keep saying it. I'm going to commute for the first while, but, like, since... I was about uh, five or six. I used to always say to my mum, why don't we live in Dublin? Because all my cousins live in Dublin. Oh, not all of them. I, like, all my mum's side. My family live in Dublin. I always wanted to be with my cousins. And my mum was like, we don't live in Dublin. <laughs> and I'm like, so, dreams do come true. <laughs> the day I came back from Greece, we had this dinner with my friends. And they're all leaving. And I was like, are like oh yeah we're moving out this weekend i'm like oh. i only accepted my offer two days ago 
the reason I'm so happy is because I'm in Dublin. I'm like I'm doing a course. I really, really like I wouldn't have put on my CEO if I didn't want it. And as well, after the first year, I'm like after the first year, if I get the grades, I can transfer into the original course I was about to do, which was biomedical science. So, anyways, yeah. So after the first year, I'm gonna transfer into biomedical science. Best of all. Guess who's on my course? My best friend since junior infants. So yeah, we both have the same course. So, <laughs> isn't that madness? So me and my best friend, Miss Arnie Fagan. I wanna ring her, but like I feel like she's not gonna answer. I have a photo, if I find a photo of me and Anya, this is us in junior infants, literally friends since day dot. So that's madness. It's absolutely ludicrous that we got the same course. Like it's so I'm not really as nervous and this excited. Get the train together. But to all my friends who've been with me since all the years, primary school and secondary school, I wish you the best of luck. No, um I hope you're enjoying your college life and thank you for the best summer ever. I feel like I'm not everyone's like moving away and I'm like uh, Ring me on FaceTime. Oh, you're going out, so am I. <laughs> I don't know why I think I'm Gandhi. <laughs> Seriously, if you didn't get your course or you are repeating like an absolute nut job, not a mess, and you're not a nut job if you repeat, praise to you if you repeat, praise the Lord. If you are repeating, go you. I'm so, so proud of you. Don't stress it, don't stress your life away. And if you're studying really hard in sixth year, hope it works out for you. I really do. If you're not studying, maybe consider studying. Or else you want to cry like for a week and run away to Greece and be very, very sick for two weeks. But then you're gonna like, like have like a whole real life like epiphany like me and like curl your hair at seven o'clock at night, you know, make yourself look like Whitney Houston and then think, right, do I bring a school bag or a handbag to college? Like, you tell me. I'm getting so off topic, I'm rambling so much, but like, what bag do I bring? A girl I work with, Kelly, if you're watching this, like, Kelly has a Michael Kors bag, handbag. I've got a pink tie-dye school bag in there, like, I feel. I think that's not gonna work. And especially with your own jacket. Like, I wear puffy jackets, do you know what I mean? Like, do you remember on Civvy's Day and you try and get your school bag over your jacket? And you're like, walking to school like i'm not gonna be wearing a skill fleece i'm wearing a jacket with a skill bag and a laptop do you know what i and i'm not living up there so i'm gonna have to bring a jacket because it rains that's a look and at the next video will be me for for college also if you're in my college and you see this if you're in my course and you see this now pretend you didn't see it don't you dare start bullying me. I haven't even met you.